October 12th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 131 and 132 from the Old Testament. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor do I have a haughty look. I do not have great aspirations or concern myself with things that are beyond me. Indeed, I am composed and quiet like a young child carried by its mother. I am content like the young child I carry. O Israel, hope in the Lord now and forevermore. O Lord, for David's sake, remember all his strenuous effort and how he made a vow to the Lord and swore an oath to the powerful ruler of Jacob. He said, I will not enter my own home or get into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep or my eyelids to slumber until I find a place for the Lord, a fine dwelling place for the powerful ruler of Jacob. Look, we heard about it in Ephrathah. We found it in the territory of Jar. Let us go to his dwelling place. Let us worship before his footstool. Ascend, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. May your priests be clothed with integrity. May your loyal followers shout for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your chosen king. The Lord made a reliable promise to David. He will not go back on his word. He said, I will place one of your descendants on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and the rules I teach them, their sons will also sit on your throne forever. Certainly the Lord has chosen Zion. He decided to make it his home. He said, this will be my resting place forever. I will live here for I have chosen it. I will abundantly supply what she needs. I will give her poor all the food they need. I will protect her priest and her godly people will shout exuberantly. There I will make David strong. I have determined that my chosen king's dynasty will continue. I will humiliate his enemies and his crown will shine. God, I wish that the word content was part of my vocabulary with you. We seem to be so content with so many other things in our lives. Content with being comfortable, content with having money, content with having things. But we never seem to be content in our relationship with you. Well, I can only speak for me. You know, this uh, psalm talks about being content uh, like a child, like a young child carried by its mother. In other versions of the Bible, it talks about a child who's been weaned from their mother. And, and how interesting to compare that to us, that a child who no longer has to be immediately by its mom all the time for nourishment, uh, but can be away for, from her for a certain amount of time and is still content with the fact that he or she knows that their mom is there, uh, that they'll be fed. Uh, there's no question in that child's mind at this point that they will be abandoned or left or or not taken care of yet we're not well I'm not like that even though you have taken care of me throughout my whole life and in some situations so clearly and deeply have taken care of me it seems like when that next situation hits my life I start to flounder and panic again as though I am, I'm still nursing. I'm still at that child phase instead of calmly and contentedly looking back at all the things that you've done for me and, and the support structure and the consistency in my life and going, oh, okay, so that same thing will happen here. My heart just doesn't seem to do that, at least not on a consistent basis. So God, can you teach me what being content looks like, what it feels like? where that faith comes from to be content in a relationship with you instead of content with the worldly things that I seem to have more faith in that will always be there. Allow my heart to open up and be content in you, God, to rest in you as you put it in the Bible. Allow my heart to rest in you. Allow my actions to rest in you. Allow my words that I speak to rest in you. Allow my agitation and concern and fears to rest in you as well. God, today, teach me what it's like to be content with you. 
there's absolutely no reason in the entire world I shouldn't be more content with you than anything else in my life. Help me rearrange those priorities in my heart, God, so that my contentment is with you and not with the worldly things. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>